Yo, what up? Welcome to I'm Not a Gentleman, the show designed to help you look stylish without following trends. I'm your host, Vladimir Richet from ChasingRider.com, your favorite menswear YouTuber's favorite menswear YouTuber. I've helped dozens of clients and hundreds of students and viewers feel more confident by looking their best and always making a great first impression. Welcome to episode 34 of I'm Not a Gentleman, the Charles Barkley episode. And as you guys know, every Friday and every even number episode, it's a wardrobe audit. Today's guest is my man, Jalon. He's one of the members of the Menswear Mastermind, and I'm extremely excited to have him on the podcast. And if you guys are just starting your menswear journey, you're really going to appreciate this episode. Yo, Jalon, what's good? Yo, what's up, Vlad? What's up, big bro? OG? Your favorite you know, menswear is YouTuber, favorite menswear is YouTuber. How you, you doing, bro? You already know. You already know, fam. It's such a pleasure to have you on here, man. It's a pleasure to be on. Yeah, man. So um, for those of you who don't know, my guy Jolan is um, from Denver, Colorado. So yep. definitely shout out to Denver. Cool as hell out there. Mile high. <laughs> yeah. Mile high. Freezing. <laughs> yes, sir. What's the temperature looking like? It's actually been pretty nice this past week. It's been like okay. 30s, 40s. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A couple of weeks yeah, ago, we was in the negative, so it was I remember. We was down bad. I remember because I thought we were cold here when you told me you were in the negatives over there because we were like in the <laughs> teens, you know? Yeah. Man? Like, yeah, like it was unreal. Yeah. Yeah, I was in the house. So I was definitely, was locked in. I was not going outside for nothing. <laughs> for nothing and no one. Because um, sure. over there, you guys are so used to this kind of weather. Everything just regular like regardless how cold it is like nothing really shuts down or anything like that i'm, I'm imagining nah yeah the city's got their infrastructure in place they prepare for yeah. when the snow comes but it never yeah. really lasts because the sun always comes out the next day that's why a lot you. of people don't know we get it we get a lot of sunlight i think we get more than Ooh, i think okay. i want to say over 300 300 days of sun like even wow. though it may be cold the sun yeah, yeah, still yeah. you know comes out got you that makes sense though you know because of um how denver is and um the altitude and yeah. all that Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, the okay. elevation. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you got to get out crazy. here, man, if you've never been here. It's a beautiful state. I've never been here, bro, and I've always heard how beautiful Denver is, so it's definitely on the list for sure. Sure. Um, if you guys don't know, well, I, I mentioned in the intro, Jelani is part of the Menswear Mastermind, and um, yep. eventually we were going to do some um, some meetups, uh, not vir no virtual meetups, like some real meetups. So the first one might be in Atlanta because we have a couple members down there. Um, but mm -hmm. Denver would definitely be a destination I would like to explore for for one of those for sure. Yeah, we'd love to have you. We'd love to have the group. And I'm definitely a proud member. Menswear yes, Mastermind sir. joined um, almost after it started, a few weeks after it kicked off. But I think we're up to like week 10 or 11 now. Um, um, yeah. And steadily think, growing. Um, yeah, exactly. It's, it's definitely going fast too. Because every, every week when I'm doing the, when I have to post the replay, and I'm looking at the number. I'm like, oh man, it's already week ten or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's definitely, yep. um, it's definitely. Yeah, it's flying by. Recorded, um, week eleven now. So yeah, and um, I couldn't be happier, man. I'm glad it's a solid investment. I'm glad I made the investment, and not only glad, but also Style Jumper and Style Architect, uh, two other brothers. Yep. That are offering a plethora of knowledge, information with respect to menswear and all of its facets, from classic to casual to prep street yep. and everywhere in between so yep. yeah i'm yep. enjoying it i appreciate it thrifting sure. and all that yep yeah yeah, yeah. that's what that's what makes it so Thrift great King. is the different perspectives right yeah definitely yeah it's a whole you get you know it's not like a, a uni uniform unilateral kind of mm -hmm. deal you it's a broad expansive perspective so yep. anybody from anywhere can really gather some knowledge and from some information and inspiration from it for sure yeah, because I'm I'm in there learning myself, you know what I'm saying? Not only am I learning from Mike and um Asan, style architect and um style jumper, but I'm also learning from you guys. So it's a it's a good, really good combination. For sure, for sure. Yes, sir. And it's good. And we have some fun in there too. Chino, you know, he's like the uh <laughs> class clown, so to speak. He keeps us entertained down. and no he got down. some solid input too. So I appreciate that. Absolutely. He's also the uh resident um fragrance guy for us, so always putting yep. us on to stuff like that. So Indeed, That's what's up. No, it's a great community, man. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check out patreon.com forward slash menswear mastermind. Yeah. And uh, we would love to have you. Definitely. For sure. Y'all won't regret it. You won't regret it. Yes, you definitely need to be in that that group for sure. Appreciate it. And just so you guys know, I did not pay Jalon to say that. So. <laughs> nah, not at all. 
Yes, I'm, I'm paying him. I'm paying him for me to say that because that's how much, that's how quality the information is. It's good. Well, it's solid. We appreciate you. And yeah, we appreciate you. I can't you. can't beat it. Second to none for real. Definitely, fam. Now, um, I don't know if you've caught any of the prior um, wardrobe audits. Um, actually, I'm sure you have. Uh, one of the questions that I like to yep. ask is if we were to talk again, let's say three to six months from now and you have the perfect wardrobe, mm-hmm. um, can you describe that for me? I would say my perfect wardrobe is, is a balance of classic, casual, street prep, all kind of mixed in, tied into one, kind of how Jules, mm-hmm. James Jules, how his yes. style is. Like he, yep. he, he's in his classic bag sometimes. Sometimes mm-hmm. he gets into the casual bag. He may mesh the classic and the casual bag and get in yep. streetwear and mesh that and fuse that with it. So yep. kind of that um, eclectic style of uh, Black um, Ivy. Co- yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A black eye yeah. kind of vibe. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, Jason is definitely one of my inspirations, man. This dude is um, sharp as hell. Uh, yeah. I don't know how yeah, old Jason. he is, but um, definitely I-, I want to be looked upon as somebody like that um, from yep. now on. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you think you're overdressed or whatever. Like I remember um, seeing a picture of him. He was an advertisement, but he was like in the yeah. grocery store. Um, but he was wearing like a shawl collar card again. And yep. um, I remember I was um, at work, and me and my um, my uh, coworkers were saying like, "Yo, wait, you know, you are you ever not dressed up? Because at work we have to dress up, but yeah. uh, we didn't have to wear a tie. But every now and then I would also wear a tie. They're like, are you always dressed up? They're like, are you ever not dressed up? Like, do you go to go to the grocery store? I'm like, yeah. They're like, are you dressed <laughs> up there? I'm like, well, sometimes it depends. I could be like in a short collar cardigan. They're like, what? You go to the grocery store in a short collar cardigan? So I pulled out yeah. the picture of Jason to show them, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, that's that's uh, casual yeah. for real, for real. Exactly, that's- man. Exactly. So, uh, you know, I still wear the hoodies too. You know what I mean? I still wear, um, yeah. you know, jeans and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But um, <laughs> s- sometimes I feel like stepping it up a little bit more like, a, like chinos and... You yeah. know, um, still be casual, but still be um, like my man, um, style, style, style jumper, like to call it. Um, yeah. um, what does he call it again? Um, then I'm drawing a blank, uh, but it'll, it'll come back to me. But he has a name for it uh, when you dressed up casually, but a little bit more elevated than just T-shirts and um, those type of okay. things. You know what I mean? It's not it's not his saying. Uh... Oh yeah, adult street. Not for that's freshmen for live, man. Oh yeah, that's a that's that's style architect. That's a classic yeah. saying too. But uh, the style jumpers thing is um, adult awesome. street. That's why they call that look, and it, it makes okay, a lot of yeah. sense, you know. Yeah, yeah and that's that's kind of his style too, because he'll wear like yeah. a, a jacket or even a sweater, and he'll throw some joggers on with it with a you know, overcoat or something. Yep, yep. You now he mixes up well. For sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. sure. Now, what would you say is your biggest issue? Like, what's stopping you right now from having that kind of wardrobe? Um, I think what what I need to strengthen now is just, like, more classic menswear. So, my suits, per se. But I don't necessarily need a whole lot of suits. I think just, like, yeah. three, maybe four. Like, you always suggest a charcoal as just a fundamental. Mm-hmm. A charcoal navy just to have yep. fundamentally. So, I think, yes. like, a charcoal navy and maybe, like, a, a medium gray or light gray. Got you. And then um, dress shirts, ties, pocket squares, and dress shoes. Just a more dress look. Because I, I have mm-hmm. a plethora of chinos, um, yep. a few loafers, uh, mm-hmm. some OCBD yep. shirts that I'll just wear casually or even a t-shirt sure. um, and, and dress those up like on a, a casual tip. But I, I want to mm-hmm. kind of lean in more to get my um, classic essentials right just just to have the classic fundamentals the classic essentials so when the yep. occasion calls for it i'm ready to take it to the next level absolutely that's where a lot of guys go wrong because they wait till the last second and mm-hmm. when that happens you end up buying something that you're not 100 percent sure about right. because you don't have you don't really have the time and it happened to the best of us i mean it hasn't happened to me in a while i make sure it doesn't um by having a very curated wardrobe where I can always grab something for whatever the occasion calls for. But in the past, I've definitely worn something crazy because I waited till last second. I'm a last second kind of guy naturally, but that shouldn't be the case with your wardrobe. You know what I mean? For sure. No, I'm the same way. I'm the same way too. I try to prep and get everything in order beforehand, but you know, busy schedule and everything. Some things come down the last minute, but what I I really appreciate about your style and your aesthetic with the classic menswear is like, everything fits well with each other. It's kind of like you say, one of your sayings is one of the best compliments you got is people telling you 
you dress so nice and it's so fluid. It's like an orchestra playing. You don't know which instrument is doing what. It just all facts. fits together well. Facts. So facts. That's one thing that I think that's what stands the test of time. The stuff that it doesn't matter what combinations, you, all this stuff goes and works together in unison yep. and in harmony. Yep. And that's what I'm going for, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like with me, it, it took a while to get there, you know, um, but I'm very proud of what I've accomplished so far, you know, because it, it's not about one thing fighting the other. Right. You people are right. going to have their favorites when they see you. Somebody mm -hmm. might be into accessories or somebody might be like a watch person. Um, somebody might be a shoe person and they'll notice those things. But that's because yeah. that's what they like. It's not because the thing is screaming at them like, hey, look at me. You see what I'm saying? Right. And that's right. the same kind of thing I try to provide to my clients, to my to the membership members, to my students is to have everything flow and nothing is fighting um, against one another. And that's one thing that's very hard yeah. for a lot of guys to grasp. Um, it's hard for them to grasp because they feel like they have to have something that's screaming versus right. no, when you have everything um, is um, when everything is put together nicely mm -hmm. as a whole, you're going to shine as opposed to one piece right. just really um, grabbing all the attention. Exactly. That's the difference right between being fashion forward and just having time to style. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. And it's, some guys take it the wrong way too. Like for example, if I go to a wedding, um, I want to be as um, incognito as possible, right? The last thing mm -hmm. I want to do is to stand out at someone else's wedding, you right. know. But some guys take it in in a sense like I don't want to dress well. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't want to stand out. But right. I end up standing out anyway, even when I'm not trying, because little things like my suit fitting well, um, you know, my shoes being polished. Uh, wearing yep. a really nice tie. Yeah. Most guys are not really going to do that. You know, they're, they're just trying to shine. You know what I mean? And you know where right. I get it? Because a lot of guys, they don't get a chance to really wear tailored clothing. So right. when a wedding is coming up, they're like, oh, this is my chance to really kill it. <laughs> you know, and that shouldn't be the attitude, right? Right. So, right. Yeah. And that's the and that's when they go out. And I'm guilty of this too. Is an event coming up, a wedding or some sort of event. And then you go out and you got to buy the outfit for it. And usually you end up going, you know, like I said, a little too bit, a little too flamboyant, a little yeah. over the top because you're yeah. rushing last minute as opposed yeah. to having these fundamentals and essentials in place. So you exactly. can piece it together, you know, easy when the time comes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, that's that's great, man. Now, I know we spoke about the weather in Colorado, but one thing mm -hmm. that uh, I'm not 100 percent sure about, do you guys get all four seasons? What yeah, yeah, we get all four seasons for sure. Uh -huh. And our... It depends. Some some years we may have a light winter. Some years we may have a heavy winter. But mm -hmm. it definitely gets hot around okay. July, August. Yeah, okay. like a dry heat too. Mm. And some and lately the past few years, like it always rains every Fourth of July. Like every Fourth of July oh, for wow. like the past ten years, it rains. Yeah, and yeah. it usually rains a lot in July, and then it'll be hot in like August. Except it'll be hot all the way up to like October, November sometimes. Oh in wow! Like seven seventy five degree weather in November. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and wow. then we'll get like a, really? a late winter from like January all the way up until March. It's been some years mm -hmm. where it's it snowed and it was a light snow, but it snowed all the way up until May. Wow. So okay. yeah, it's crazy. We you can get all four seasons in a week. All four That's seasons insane. in one month. Yeah. That's insane. I mean we 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 talk about that in New York too, how we have more than four seasons because it could be <laughs> it could be <laughs> so crazy. The swings are so wild, right? Yeah, um, yeah. And it's it hurricanes and all that. Yep, exactly, exactly. So, um, when you think about your um, your tailored clothing needs, are you mm -hmm. looking for something that's going to be for a specific season, and then for the following season you just switch up, or are you looking for something that's going to be that you'll be able to wear um, throughout the year? Yeah, if I can, something to wear throughout the year. I know there are certain pieces, and um, that only call for a certain type of material like a hop mm -hmm. sack or a linen when it's 90 100 degrees outside sure um but with respect to tailor clothing something that's mm -hmm. yeah that's year round year long got you yeah, cool. yeah I, I, I think that's a good idea especially when you're not looking to get too many suits um because like you said you're looking to get maybe three or four you know so mm -hmm. i would probably do three that all all seasons and then probably just do one that's um 
more um like a cold weather appropriate you know what i mean just to yep. have something that's different uh, because you do feel better when you're wearing something that goes with the season that you're in like right now i'm wearing tweed yeah. and yeah that, that's a nice that tweed jacket by the way me. thank you bro it's a whole suit man and um oh, nice i really suit. really love it yeah man it's um um it's one piece that i was looking forward to to receiving so i just got it last week um it's a custom piece but it's uh it definitely makes me feel better wearing that around this time of the year versus For if sure. i was wearing something that's four season you know what i'm saying because it just goes mm -hmm. so so well with the weather you know what i mean so that's what Absolutely. i would recommend um and that could be the last piece you get you know but i think it's right. important to get something you can wear all year round especially living in the climate that you live in where it's unpredictable at times so yeah. um you don't want to get get caught with your pants down like the, like they say you know <laughs> no doubt and yeah. and that's the goal like over time to build to build to that stage mm -hmm. um but securing like the fundamentals and the foundation sure. and the essentials now yep. like you know like in basketball the spurs they're not the most commercial team they're not mm -hmm. on the highlight reel but yes. they at least when greg would pop which was in his like prime they yes. was in the championship picture every year because they yep. stuck to the essentials and the fundamentals and the fundamentals and you can never go wrong there. yep absolutely absolutely that's that's a great analogy um analogy actually um because they even called tim duncan mr fundamental right so it's um, right. all about exactly. the fundamentals very important mm -hmm. to get to get those things set and then you can venture out yep you know yep. What I mean? now um you, so like you said you have heard me um speak about the colors that i usually recommend um mm -hmm. charcoal i recommend charcoal more than navy although that's just a personal choice there's yep. no wrong answer there um the reason why i recommend charcoal more is because most guys lean towards navy so I yeah. want to give you something a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? And charcoal, I feel like is extremely underrated. It's such a great color that's very versatile. So that's why I lean towards that more than navy, but that's really no yes, one answer. And especially if you're going to do more than one, then you can do charcoal first and navy second or navy first, charcoal second. Because uh, both of those colors play the same exact role. Um, yeah. You can dress them up to the most formal of events except for anything that's like black tie or white tie but right. uh they can fit to um any function you know what i mean yep 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 i had to yeah um, those are going to be my first two suits definitely uh a, a more so a charcoal one because i have this navy suit but this this mm -hmm. this one doesn't even really fit me you can see these lapels are mad thin this is a skinny yeah. uh, slim fit h&m suit i bought gotcha. years ago for like yeah, yeah, yeah. 180 dollars or something crazy but yeah, uh, I, the charcoal and the navy, that's mm -hmm. definitely, um, I'm saving for that right now. So no, my no. next couple of checks, um, yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go towards that. And, what, that's, that's and there's, you know, there's programs like Karna and Klarna and Sezzo where you don't have to pay for everything at once. So you can piece it mm -hmm. together over time. So yep, that's what yep. I plan to do. Charcoal, navy, definitely my first two suits, next suits. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, yeah. I know that Denver is a, is a town where there are some menswear brands out there in denver is there a yep. supply out there um there might be i don't know if mm -hmm. there's a there's a kg men okay. there's a um dsw mm -hmm. of course we got nordstrom's yep um the the malls there, there may be a suit supply i don't know there's several malls yeah, I, out I here can, i'll, I'll so look that look up after up. we we get off the call uh i'm not 100 yeah. percent sure um last week i spoke to um one of my guys from Detroit and um, they didn't have any out there. Um, so they're not everywhere. They are in a lot of towns, like big cities, um, but I, mm -hmm. I have to double check on um, on Denver to see if there's one. Cause that, that's definitely a place I would recommend because they okay. have so many different options as far as um, price points and styles. Yeah. Um, if someone can afford it, I always recommend the custom program. Cause I feel like that's the best program that they offer. Uh, because sure. you can play with some of the options, but Correct. they have suits starting around like uh, $400, I would say, is the starting yeah. point. Um, they used to have some under 400 but I haven't looked in a while to see if they still have those. Um, but no, it's definitely a, a good price. place. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a good price, man. It's definitely a good place to start, I would say, okay. um, for, for a nice charcoal suit. Um, now you see the way that I dress with the Neapolitan style and stuff. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's the best style, but that's just the style that I like. That's the style that works for me. Um, yep. do you have any preference there with kind of, with 
the kind of styles that you like? Because I know you mentioned the suit that you're wearing now has the skinny yellow pearls. So obviously you, you're looking to have something more timeless. Um, For sure. What, what else do you look in a suit that um that really um, stands out to you? You know, I love the Neapolitan cut. And I, I actually, I like double breasts a lot. I sent you a, mm. a few pictures in the past too and was having conversations yes. talking about double breasts. But yep. yeah, the Neapolitan cut, um, the, the, the soft shoulders mm-hmm. and... The way um, the co- the couture of it, how it's shaped, and it's, yep. it's very flattering and compliments. Um, you know, if you have a broad chest or shoulders, exactly. You know. Yep. So, yeah, that's that's the Neapolitan cut is definitely one I'm, I'm leaning more towards. Yep. Um, and yeah, something like I said with a with a soft, soft, softer shoulder because these yeah. aren't extreme right now, but the padding in it and it's just something to feel comfortable in, something that I can move in, something yep. that is going to look good while at the same time not going to like constrict me. Because, you know, exactly. I, when I bought this suit, this is when I was in, you know, my like slim skinny bag <laughs> yep. when that was in. And I, and I, as you grow, you're like, this is uncomfortable. I can't even really move. I'm 100%. sweating in this. Like, it's, this, yep. this ain't it. So yep. I'm so glad I, I came across your page. I forget even how I came across. Maybe I was searching something, but I'm glad mm-hmm. I did. And then it's just been a world of knowledge and information since then. And I'm just no, learning I, more and I more every day that. how to do it the right way. I appreciate that. And it's funny, I've been doing it for a while, but even myself, I'm still looking to refine um, my aesthetic. You know, like I, I, I definitely yep. have the base um, down pad, but you never really stop learning and try to yep. implement different things. You know what I mean? So with me, like for example, I'm having my trousers being wider now. Not that they were ever skinny. Well, I, of course they were skinny at one point, but since yeah. I, you know, discovered classic menswear and started dressing well, um, in my estimation, mm-hmm. I'd say since like 2015, um, my trousers haven't been skinny, but I'm looking to have them even wider now. Not like extremely wide because I don't like the extremes on either end. I don't like things right. too skinny. I don't like things too baggy. But um, mm-hmm. but I definitely want them to be um, wider than the way that I have them now. So um, yeah. like the trousers that I'm wearing now are baggier than what I usually wear. Uh, but I'm still looking to refine that to get it to the point where it's absolutely perfect for me. Yep, for sure. Yeah, you mentioned that in the last or one of the um, more recent uh, groups that we have where you was going from eight inch leg opening or some yes, say 16 exactly. inch, depending on how exactly. to nine inch or 18 yep, inch. Yep. Yep, exactly. So because it, it, it's just more comfortable, or it drapes better, or it drapes better. So it's like if you want the trousers to be wider, it's not mm. going to look right if the if the thighs are wider, but the bottom is smaller, right? right you kind of want right. it to be like a straight line. So mm-hmm. therefore, if you want the trousers to be wider, you also want the hem to be wider, so that way, just a straight line all the way f- down from the from the waist to the to the to the um, to the shoes. So okay. um, gotcha. eight inches is what I used to go for. Um, the one that I'm wearing now is eight point seven five, but I think it's still not quite there from where where I really want it. So I think maybe nine nine and a quarter is probably where I'm going going to end up um, mm-hmm. um, settling at. You know what I mean? So it's still a work in progress. Um, sure. But the good thing is I can let those out. So there's there's room in there um, for me to take them to my tailor to to have them let th- let out. So I just want to wear, wear them a couple of times. I mean, wear it a couple of times mm-hmm. to see how I feel about the whole suit or whatever. And then eventually I'll take it to my tailor to make some minor adjustments. For sure. And that's one thing I appreciate, too, because I reached out to you um, a little while ago with respect to um, ordering a suit online on an off the rack suit and then getting it um, hemmed. Yep. And then leaving the um the M seam unadjusted so you take yes. it to your tailor and get the perfect adjustment because if you go exactly. too short it's hard yes. to fix that so you, you rather don't. you know have more material as opposed to less material and Absolutely. that's something yeah. that I had learned from you and I needed that information because if I hadn't yeah. if I hadn't known that would have yeah, wasted you know it it makes sense man because if you're thinking okay if the store can do it that's going to save me a trip to the tailor right so I'll just pay a little bit yep. extra that the store is going to charge me, and then I, I just know I'm set. But there's so much room for error there, you know. So if you put the wrong yeah. end seam because you're not 100 percent sure, and now you can't fix it, not only you can't fix it, you can't return it because it's now it's right. like a custom piece, you know. Yep. So um, it's better to just get the the hem undone, um, yep. and then take it to your tailor. That way they can measure you properly and get the right length for you. You know what I mean? So that's why I I, um, I recommended that. For sure, for sure. 
Now, how do you feel mm-hmm. about cuffs and um, pleats and those type of things on your trousers? I'm a fan of the cuffs now, now that I've been exposed to it and seen like yeah. the function of it and how it looks and how it makes your shoes look when it's nicely draped over there. Yep. I'm definitely a fan of that. And I'm, I've am i I've been more of a fan of uh, pleats than as mm-hmm. opposed to belt loops. Like all most of my trousers are just regular belt loop trousers, but yeah, the pleated trousers with the side mm-hmm. tabs just look mm-hmm. so much better without so sexy. That, yeah. Without that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Without that belt there, it just looks yeah. like it fits. It's perfect. Yep. Yeah, because the belt can definitely cut you down. Um, right. Not cut you down, but cut you in half. Yeah. You know, because yep. it's like a separation yep. from the top to the bottom. If somebody's looking at you from top to bottom and you have your jacket open, right? Because the belt is going to stop their their sight from just going from top to bottom or from bottom to top um, right. continuously, you know, because they have to stop and pause at the belt. So um, yep. when you don't, when you're not wearing a belt because you have side adjusters or whatever and you're wearing suspenders, um, it doesn't stop that that flow, which is always a good thing, you know. And yeah, for uh, sure. with, with me, one thing that never really worked with me is um, like the side adjusters. I have them on all my trousers, but they're not functional to me. And I don't know if it's because of the way my body's shaped. Yeah. I don't have the flattest stomach in the world, um, so maybe that's yeah. why. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, <laughs> like so that's why suspenders we're suspenders. Coming in. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So. The suspenders, you never move them. You just set them up in the morning. And then, you know, when it's time to take your, your clothes off, then you take them off. You never have to worry about fidgeting with them throughout the day. But the the side adjusters are just there for looks for me. They've never done anything. Um, like I remember the first time I got them, uh, that was prior to me starting to to wear suspenders. And all day that day, I was I kept on pulling my <laughs> pants up because the side adjusters couldn't right. keep them up. And that's when I was like, no, I got to do something else. You know, I don't want to go back to belts, but I got to start wearing suspenders. And that's how we started, so... Yep. And the suspenders is a is a good look too. Even though you don't want you're not showing off your suspenders, but if your jacket's open and you see it, it's you know yeah. it's a nice little flare. Exactly. And you never know when the jacket is gonna come off, fam. Yeah? You know? Mm-hmm. So like I don't I don't go out with the intention of taking off my jacket, but you never know you might be in a room it's hot as hell. I remember right. I was at work one time, um, and I had to help move some boxes. So it was a lot more comfortable for me to take my jacket off, you know. And one of my coworkers was Definitely. like, Wait, you wear suspenders? Like he was so shocked because he never seen them, you know? And I was like, well, yeah, it's just to hold my pants up. It's not really an accessory, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm I'm making that point to say you never know when your jacket is going to come off. And I think it is yep. a good look also. You don't want to be like Larry King and have that be your signature. But, you know, when, when your jacket right. comes off, people see it. And that also plays with um, one of the videos I made recently about not having your monogram on your shirt cuffs. So mm-hmm. me, I have my monogram on my torso on the left side. And also, yep. it's another thing too. You never know when your jacket is gonna come off, and somebody might see it, as opposed to them being right in their face, like right on right. the cuff. When they see it, and it's like hidden a little bit, I think it just makes a lot more sense. You know what I mean? For surely, for surely, and I, I, it's just a better look, classic look with the suspenders, yep. as opposed to the belt. Because I remember years ago, like when I thought I was, you know, doing it right, I had my my. My the leather on my shoes matching my belt matching my yep. watch strap and it's yep. like oh yeah this belt is fly but yeah. it's just it's a better cleaner look when more sophisticated look and just a more yep. classic look to have you know a high rise trouser with mm-hmm. your suspenders for sure yep. yep so what I would recommend for you um, is definitely suit supply now even if they don't have one in your city um, they have a huge online um, yep um, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Um, selection. And okay. also, um, they're, they're very quick. Like you can order something today and get it in a couple of days, you know? Okay, so yeah. you can, one, one way to go about it, which I've, I've advised some clients is to get a couple of different sizes. If you're not sure what your size is and then mm-hmm. just return the one that you don't want to keep, you know what I'm saying? So that's an option as well. Um, but gotcha. that's what I would recommend. Um, cause they definitely have some charcoal in their collection that you can right. check out, you know what I mean? Um, and, you know, like one thing about the, them and the reason why I recommend them a lot of time is um, that you're not going to find like the real skinny lapels and right. like the short jackets, you know? So um, mm-hmm. because of that, I recommend them. Now their trousers may not come with, I mean, some of their lines do, um, may not come with um, side adjusters and plates. Mm-hmm. And that's why usually I recommend their custom program, but their custom program, of course, is going to be more expensive. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So for sure. um, that's something to to look into. But a, a store like yeah, that would be something that I recommend. And um, okay. Spear and McKay also is another store that gives you that Neapolitan look. Um, yeah. They're all going to have the side adjuster. They're all going to have the plates. They're all going to have the high rise on their um, their their, um, their Neapolitan style suits. The only thing is they're only in Canada. So if you wanted to go in person, you'd have to take a trip to Toronto versus yeah. Suit Supply. There are many stores in the U.S., even though they're not going to give you that true Neapolitan unless you go custom. Because they used to have um, they used to have some of their lines that mm-hmm. had that. But um, recently when I checked, I didn't see one. So um, so that's what I would say. Okay, for sure. For sure. That's a yeah. bet. And for my first real suit, I guess, in a Neapolitan cut, it, it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be perfect. I'll perfect it over time. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'll definitely look into the custom program, though, for sure, to get as close yep. as, as the best fit I can. And then anything extra, take it to my tailor for sure. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it because it's not like you're really dressing up for an event that's right around the corner. Um, mm-hmm. You just want to start dressing well, period. Um, but it's not yeah. really pressing. So even if, you know, like I said, the custom program is going to cost more. And they even do their cost, the custom program online as well. So you can even like put your measurements in or whatever online yeah. and they can do it that way. Um, both Spear and McKay and Suit Supply offer that. So um, you can definitely do everything online if they don't have one in your city or close. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. Yeah. I definitely look into that Suit Supply. I've been checking out Spear and McKay for a while, but um, I'm going to see if they actually have a physical store here at Suit Supply so I can go in and try some things yeah. and see what, see what they have yeah. and yeah. get a better feel for it. Yeah, I recommend both brands, man. It's just that with um with suits, it's not always easy to do it online mm-hmm. if you don't have a good base yet. You know, because certain guys they're easy to shop on. Um, it's easy for them to shop online because they have more of a regular um body shape versus someone like me. Um, right. shopping online is harder for me. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. but I was lucky to have something fit me up the rack and then that way I know what adjustments to make for the, the ones that came after that okay yep that sounds right. good yeah man is there any other question I can help answer for you while you got me um I would say shoes I know we did mm-hmm. a um we did a shoe fitting or um in the, kind in of the figure mastermind. out what, what's the best shoe yeah in the menswear mastermind group we had mm-hmm. a paper bag test to see what yes what shoe would fit the best and what size but um, I know different brands, the sizes may run different and depending on the last and the width and all that, yep. I believe I'm a, uh, like an eight EU, mm-hmm. which I think is a, um, what a nine UK or something like that. Yeah. It, the or maybe European a seven UK. Are so, are so weird. Like, um, so well, f- US... uh, maybe like a 41 EU and like yeah. a nine UK and that eight US. Yeah, a forty-one EU oh is like a, um, it's like a nine US almost, uh, okay. because I'm a forty yeah, and a yeah. half. Yep, I'm a forty and a half EU, which is depending on the brand, it's like a seven UK, and I'm a eight US. So it's it's weird, man. You know, because the EU yeah. sizing they they're not as at least to me when I was looking at the. Uh, online to see what's the best one to go with um, based on my mm-hmm. US and UK sizing. It was kind of hard to figure out which one it was. But for the right. brand that I was trying, 40 and a half was the one that works for me. Um, that was equivalent to a 7 UK or 8 US. Okay. Bet, bet, yeah. bet. And I'm looking at, I was looking at TLB Mallorca because of course the shoes are the foundation fundamental. So yes, sir. definitely along with the, the, the three, four suits, mm-hmm. I have a few few pair of shoes too i have a couple um black cap toe oxfords yep. and i even have a couple brown um cap toe oxfords and i got a loafer but mm-hmm. i was looking to get something um like a burgundy or maybe even a hash grain or yeah just just different shades of brown absolutely clb makes a great burgundy like that burgundy is really beautiful um i don't have a burgundy pair from them but when we did the New York trunk show, um, when I attended the New York trunk show, as I said, back in October, um, I was able to see that burgundy in person. Um, it's really striking. 
um, really stunning color. Nice. So um, I would definitely recommend that. Burgundy, contrary to popular belief, is a very um, versatile color. Um, yeah. I know a lot of guys shy away from it because it's, you know, it's going to be a little bit more flashy than your dark, um, darker colors. You know what I mean? But burgundy is um, very versatile. For sure. No, and it's a nice, TLB has so and many styles to choose from too, you know? Yeah. 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 I'm looking at a, the Artista line that you recommended. So absolutely. I'm going to order something from them and definitely yeah. put it all together. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I, um, um, I will have a, a link for TLB. Uh, I don't have a discount because TLB don't do discounts. They only do discounts, I believe, around Black Friday. Uh, okay. But their shoes are so great, especially for us that live in the U.S. Because if you compare their shoes to um, Carmina, which to me they are in the same ballpark, although I think TLB is better for mm-hmm. for for a few reasons. Although Carmina is nice as well, but Carmina's cost five hundred and twenty five dollars. You know. Yep. Uh, versus TLB is around four hundred and eight dollars. Last time I checked, based yep. on the on the conversion or whatever. Conversion, um, yep. But if you live in Europe, TLB actually costs more than Carmina does. You know, so okay. we get a really great deal um, living in the U.S. from TLB. So even though they don't really do discounts, I think they're priced um, accordingly. You know, so um, I think that four hundred eight dollars or whatever it is right now with the conversion is still a really great price. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah, four hundred yeah. well spent. Yep, absolutely, really? absolutely. So yeah, the burgundy would be a good look because that'll go really great too with the charcoal. Uh, whenever I'm wearing charcoal, I usually pull out a burgundy pair of shoes, man. So um, I'd recommend that as your as one of the first ones that you get. Okay, sure. Right. It's definitely on the list. Yes, sir. Now, was this helpful to you? What was the the biggest um, point that you think that I was able to to help you solve? Yeah, yeah, this is extremely helpful. Um, the suit supply recommendation and if they had a physical store because I didn't know they was I thought they just had um, I thought they was just online, online. Gotcha. so I didn't know they had like stand, stand up stores yeah um, absolutely but everything absolutely. I can't pinpoint one thing man from that's what's up all your videos all beyond just this interaction here just the yeah. plethora of knowledge and information no I, I couldn't put my finger on it but I do appreciate you know the um the Neapolitan plug that was that was new for me I thought all suits were cut the same mm-hmm. not made from the same fabric but basically all the same i didn't know the yeah the different specifications the shoulders the lapels sure, the length sure. of the jacket the yep. you know i didn't know all this so yep I'm, I'm appreciating everything no that's what's up man and that's the beauty of it too is the journey it's never the yep. destination right because it's like when you're watching a movie you're not sitting there like uh, waiting for the end you enjoying the movie you see what i'm saying yeah. it's the same thing with with dressing up it's the journey it's not the destination because the destination never really gets there you know, you're just going to keep learning and learning and yeah. refining forever. You know what I mean? It's just about the journey and enjoying that part. So, like, right now, the stage that you are and discovering these new things, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit jealous, you know what I mean? Because I remember <laughs> those days and it was like, wow, like when the light went on, you know, yeah. it was like such a great moment, you know what I mean? And um, a lot of guys never get to experience that, unfortunately. They, they're, like, stuck in one way and, right. you know, never really discover classic menswear. But mm-hmm. when you start to discover classic men's wear, it's, it opens up uh, so many things for you, you know? So I'm, I'm definitely happy for you that you are in that stage and we're just going to yeah. keep getting better and better. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I definitely yes, appreciate sir. that. And it's a revelation too. And it's like, I'm, with every new thing I learn, I'm like, dang, I didn't know that before. So it's like, yeah, I appreciate that. I could have been ignorant to this forever. I'm glad no I know doubt. now. No you doubt. Know I mean? No doubt. Exactly. Because, you know, if you don't know something, you just don't know it, Right. Like, uh, you don't know what you don't know. So a lot of guys, when they see my videos, they're like, I don't know about what this guy's talking about because they're not used to it, you know? But when they take a step back and start to do a little bit of um, research, what I'm Mm -hmm. talking about is not anything new. It's just that you you don't know it because you've never discovered it. You see what I'm saying? So Classic Menswear is a huge community. Of course, it's not as big as your GQ style uh, fashion Mm -hmm. type of um, of menswear. That's everywhere. Um, right. For classic menswear, if you're not used to it, you might have to dig a little bit deeper, you mm-hmm. know. Um, actually, I have an episode on the podcast. I don't remember which episode it was where I was talking about some of the guys that I recommend that people follow on Instagram. So yep. that's a good episode for people to go back and, and listen to if you're trying to get into classic menswear, where it's not just it's not just you taking it from me. There are yep. other guys that are doing the same thing as well. Like I, I've seen guys say, "Why well, you, you wear cuffs? Cuffs are so dated. And I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, you know, I wear two inch cuffs and everybody that I know in classic menswear whose style I really respect, 
Like yeah. two inch cuffs is a given. It's not even something that we even think about. You know, you know what right. I'm saying? Right. So it's a it's a great yeah. stage, man. For sure. And as once, like you said, once you get turned on to and what you know, like I view I view menswear totally different now. When I'm scrolling on Instagram, I'm looking at the dreaded triangle. Like, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing until no I got taught that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the cuffs and the width of your lapels and how these suits are supposed to fit. Yeah. versus you know the fashion forward Absolutely. super slim look so yeah yeah i'm just grateful that i'm in the know now you yeah know no I mean? doubt but it's it's, a, it's the gift and the curse you know because it's a gift obviously because now you go going to better yourself and mm -hmm. the way that you dressed in a more classic way that way you're not chasing trends but right. it's the curse because you can't just take things at face value anymore you can't just watch tv or movie right just for just to watch it and enjoy it now you're looking at what people are wearing and things yeah, are starting yeah. to jump out at you it's like oh man i wish i could have just enjoyed this movie for what it is <laughs> as opposed to looking right. at the dreaded triangle that this guy got on you know what I mean? <laughs> so, right um, absolutely right and it's like subconscious you don't even really want to think about it but you see it and it's like absolutely you can't unsee it you know yep, you can't yep. unknow what you know yep you know exactly I mean? you, you can't unring a bell <laughs> right right yeah, one of my guys told me earlier today, actually, it's like um, when he discovered classic menswear, he was like James Bond. It's like, you know, <laughs> like the the old James Bond where he was a like classic menswear, where he was wearing right. like higher rise trousers. He had pleats mm -hmm. versus the Daniel Craig um, James Bond, where it's more like yeah. more fitted more and everything. It's like now we like realize like, wow, there, there's a big difference. Where before yeah. he just like watching James Bond movies, he didn't really realize there was a difference. But now he can't stop seeing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. He got his, yeah. he got his uh, classic menwear goggles on. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, sure. Jelani was a pleasure, man. And, uh, you know, once again, we're not, pleasure. Thank you. we're not, Thank um, you, we're not new it. to each other. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely yeah. lit in the, in the men's with mastermind, but having you one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. because in the men's with mastermind is a group, you know, um, yeah. having you one-on-one, -on -one, I know we go back and forth on Instagram in the DMs or whatever, but having you one-on-one -on -one here to talk about men's was a, was a pleasure. And like I said, I'm envious of the, of the spot that you're at because I can never <laughs> go back to that spot. Um, right. and sometimes I'd be forgetting some of the things that I know, you know, because I take it for granted. Right. So it's like, of course I know that already, you know, but like going back and talking to guys who are just starting out really makes me new. Like, it's like, I'm, I'm reliving it again. You know what I mean? So I really, yeah. really appreciate that. No, yeah, I appreciate you too. And I, I appreciate that you, you give us the backstory and you show those pictures of, and then you tell us like, yo, I, I was doing it the yeah. wrong way. And I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to tell you, I learned yeah. from it and I got better and you can too. So yep, that's a blessing, man. Yeah, because guys under the impression people are born dressing well. I mean, you might be born with style, but you still have to put it together. So I don't want guys to feel right. like, well, I don't know how to dress, so I'm never going to be able to be well dressed. And I'm showing you, I was literally one of the worst dressed guys out there. You know, what I'm yep. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not afraid to show it at all. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Yeah, not sure. relatable, man. I appreciate it. So you nah, keep that pleasure, energy man. up, man. And you already know. The, the possibilities are endless and your reach is going to continue to expand and to evolve. And I just appreciate your authenticity, man. So That's what's up, bro. It's 100, man. That's it's all the way 100, man. Up. It's to be appreciated. And, you know, That's I know right. the, the critics and the detractors and the trolls <laughs> online, they're going to say what they're going to say what they say. It's part of it's part of the algorithm. Yeah. But they, they have a job just keep going forward. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It shows the growth, too. Because if everybody agrees with what I'm saying, that means that it's just my followers that are seeing my content. Yep. But when people start pushing back, I know those aren't just my followers. Those are people right. that are just discovering what I'm doing. And it's like, what is this guy talking about? I don't know anything about this. Yep. So I don't I don't trust it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even that is a gift and a curse. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, like yep. with, with the newcomers, there's going to come new opinions, which is cool. Yep. Which is cool. Exactly. So long as you're standing long, on your square and you're doing it the exactly. right way. Yeah, because I know some no guys problem. are benefiting from it. You know what I mean? So that's all that matters. Absolutely. I'm definitely benefiting yes, from it, man. And I appreciate it. And thanks for having me on. It's My pleasure, man. It, man. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure, brother. That's what's up, man. Well, thanks for tuning in for the for another episode of the of the Wardrobe Audit. That was my man Jalan from Denver. And um, yep. tune back again next week for another episode of I'm Not a Gentleman. Peace. Peace. Back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Back in that, yeah. Tell them to watch.